17 when I first started seeing symptoms, it was just pain in the ovaries. All the symptoms are similar to having a period, like bloating and just feeling nauseous and walking and cramping. I couldn't do normal everyday things. I couldn't walk. It was so painful to eat because of the pressure. And even going to the bathroom was so hard for me. It was hard to be happy because I would just have to lay in bed. And I was starting my first semester in college, and I couldn't even go out and party with my friends or walk around campus and find my classes. I knew that I needed to go to the doctor, the ultrasound that I initially asked for. That found the masses, found the tumors, and you have to know, tumors aren't always cancerous. So they thought, since I'm a young girl, I'm healthy, it doesn't run in my family, they thought it was just tumors. I got a biopsy, and that is a cut through the size and a cut through your belly button, and that's where they test out the cells in the tumors to find out if they are cancerous. A couple hours later, after my surgery, I found out that I had ovarian cancer, stage 2B. When I got the diagnosis, I couldn't believe it. It was like a freaking shock to everything that I ever knew because I knew I was an athlete. I took care of my body. I was vegan for two years. I did everything that I could. And then to be hit with this at 18 years old, I was just like, what have I done to deserve this? And I was just, I was a little angry at the world. I remember being in the room when my mom told her that it was actually cancer. And it was the hardest thing I've ever had to go through as an older sister because all I wanted to do was take away her pain. And I couldn't. I kept saying I wish it was me, not her. I was rushed into surgery a week later. Pre-surgery, my biggest fear was not being able to pursue these dreams that I've always wanted throughout my whole high school, middle school career. And then suddenly at 18, right after I graduated from school, just not be allowed that opportunity. I thought that it was gone forever the night before my surgery. And I'm just sitting, taking it all in. I get the surgery done and I wake up and I don't even know what's hit me yet. That was the hardest week of my entire life, going through that surgery alone. They basically told me as long as my ovaries are still in there, there's always a chance that my cancer could come back. So I still now have to figure out whether I want to take my ovaries out or if I want to risk it. I told them if you ever want kids, you got to have them by the time that you're 30. Being 19 and having the weight on your shoulders of deciding whether I want a kid right now is insane. I don't know what I want to do. When I was first in that hospital, that's the first time I've ever experienced something like depression. Depression is a freaking horrible thing. It makes you feel like the world is some script and it's not worth living. I remember being in the same room every single day I felt so numb and I had to go through a lot of therapy to get through that. Alexis is the strongest person I know. To watch her battle cancer and still have a smile on her face and still trying to be goofy even though she was in so much pain was inspiring. Social media was a big reason why I was able to be so okay with things that happened. I got so much support. Most of the comments were so positive and everyone was like, if you ever need anyone to talk to, I'm here. If you are experiencing something different for your own body, you can't base your symptoms off of someone else. If you don't normally get cramps really bad, if you don't normally bloat when it's around your period, go get checked out. Don't let someone tell you, oh, that's normal. That just happens when you turn 16. Nobody is gonna advocate for yourself more than you do for yourself. This is my health story. 